Hi, this is Chris Cardillo from virtuallegalshow.com and I just wanted to, before I get started with Excel uh, 2010 in about 20 minutes. Um, so I wanted to talk about uh, Virtual Legal Show and um, how we're going to be live on May 31st. Um, you can attend and win the, the new iPad 3. Um, we, we also have uh, uh, our new, uh, our free newsletter and uh, all you have to do to try to win here is uh, register on the website okay um, also our keynote area we have quite a few other videos that you will want to check out we keep adding <coughs> excuse me to that uh, keynote area and um, uh, so there's a lot of videos in there and it's growing so uh, keep coming back and uh, as we add more of uh, uh, virtual shows uh, we hope to have a lot more free content from myself and from my sponsors. All right, so let's get started with uh, Excel 2010. Um, so if you're familiar with Excel at all, um, it basically is the, the grid uh, view. And so it's different from Microsoft Word. Um, in, in the fact that each of these cells acts as like kind of a mini document. Um, you don't have necessarily all the same capabilities that you do within each cell as you do in a Microsoft Word document, but you do have quite a few uh, capabilities. So let's say here I'm going to say this is a title for my uh, spreadsheet. Right. Notice that by default it's going to spread across the cells, but it doesn't exist in these cells. So you see the B column, C column doesn't exist there, it exists only in the A column. Okay, so if I were to right click on here and choose format cells, and then click on alignment, and if I wanted to wrap that text, guess what would happen? Yeah, it would not be across the cells here, okay? Um, but that doesn't matter to me because I can easily come over here and say, I wanna make this thing go across all the way to J. I'm going to merge and center this thing. And that little button right here, merge and center, is a great tool. So I've just highlighted across the title and now I'm going to make it bold I'm going to drop down here and I'm going to make this thing, let's say I'll make it 28, right? Now I can go ahead and adjust this in my spreadsheet and now there's my title. This is my title for my spreadsheet. Okay, see how I did that? So I just used the merge and center button and I uh, highlighted uh, the, the area here and I made the title uh, a larger size and I even bolded it. Okay, um, now I can come in and start creating data fields. So my first data field here is, uh, call it first data, and I have um, second, actually, th these are usually titles. So let's call this uh, title one, title two, and these are column titles, title, three, and so on, right? We can actually make these guys by clicking on the number two over here on the, the side. I can bold this up and I can even center those guys as well across those those fields, right? I can make those bigger if I need to. Uh, and so uh, let's say this is, uh, this is a place and we're gonna say this is Miami, um, this is Fort, Lauderdale, right? Now here I'm going to show you a little trick here and say, and we're going to change the title here to cities, right? So I'm going to show you a trick here that uh, now I want, see notice Fort Lauderdale is, is gone a little bit far over on the side here. So if I turn, um, put the little icon here right between the A and the B, I could double click, right? And automatically it's going to size the column to the right size. Uh, to fit Fort Lauderdale in there, right? So now I'm going to come in and say uh, population 
and then and let's just say I don't know, it's two million and let's say oh, it's one million right okay now um, the great thing about uh, Excel one of the best things about Excel is the ability to do things with the data that's in your spreadsheet okay so um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add these two things together but I don't need to know how to add it I can actually come over to the formula bar and I can click auto sum boom right so now what it's done is is it said okay here's the code so if I click on that cell there's the code equals sum and it puts the uh, uh, the the brackets around it that B3 through B4 okay so B3 see B3 that's that cell through B4 that's that cell okay and so it summed it now right here All right so now we have uh, the total right there so I can actually type in the word total and I'm going to make this whole line bold come back to the home key and now I can bold it you see all right not too bad all right so now what what I want to do is I'm actually going to come in here and I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make all of the borders around this I'm going to click all borders notice I am still on the home key here and I'm going to change the border so I can create that grid uh, when it prints out okay so now I've created the title I've created some of the subtitles under here on on the column headings and now I've actually done uh, you know a totaling using the the formula okay so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say I want this column this B column and I'm gonna form format this as a number right and so I'm going to right click here I'm going to format the cells and I'm going to come in here under number and I'm going to change it to number okay so I want to have decimal spaces no I don't really want to have decimal spaces but I do want the comma separator right and I'm going to do that and so now it shows me the two million it's separated by the commas right so that's a feature that that you're going to use quite a bit and let's say um, amount let's say amount of taxes All right again I'm going to click between the C and the D and now it's stretched it across and so I'm gonna come in here and let's say it's uh, two five zero 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 and it's about right and this is one five zero 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 Okay. Again, I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to um, I'm going to total this up. And come back down to uh, formulas, auto sum, right? And I'm going to highlight the C column. And this time, I'm going to right click, format cells, and I'm going to change it to a uh, currency. Right? I don't need decimal spaces again, but I want that little. Uh, the dollar sign symbol and I also want the uh, the, the the little um, separators um, the comma separators there and so that's going to put that in there right uh, it's quite not quite right I guess but let's go ahead and add another zero to it All right let's say hundred yeah I probably they're probably in the billions so let's go ahead and change that to billions okay there we go all right, now we're now we're talking. Okay, so amount on taxes. Okay, so it's four billion total there. Um, that's just for this uh, demonstration. <clears throat> so, in any case, um, you can see how quickly those things update, right? So I just changed the number over here in uh, in C three, right? And the total updated because. All this is is a reference to what is in these two fields okay so as I add more data to these things um, this field will get updated and will will show immediately so look here I'm just gonna add a 1 to it and now it's 4 
billion and one dollar, right? So immediately I added that or changed that, right? I do want to bold this, so I'm going to highlight the the um, the row five here, and I come back into the home, and I'm going to bold the whole row. Okay. Another thing that is very helpful and very useful, and, and something I really love inside Excel, is the ability to highlight an entire row uh, and add a color to it. Okay. We're going to come in here and um, actually. Uh, we, we can actually do that from from up here. So we can actually uh, change the highlighting or the fill in that row to yellow. Okay, so now we've added that yellow. We can make the title uh, maybe a, a nice blue, right? Okay, so you can separate out how your um, Excel spreadsheet is going to look by adding some. Uh, a little bit of flair or color to it. You can even change the color of the text if you like. Um, okay, that looks actually pretty pretty slick. You know, some some darker blue for the text, and the title's in black, and it's it's highlighted in a lighter blue. Okay, very nice, right? So um, so then you can come in here and. Uh, uh, and change the, the way it looks. Okay. The other thing that you, you need to be aware of when you're in Excel is that you have these sheets or the worksheets at the bottom. So this is the one sheet that we happen to be working on, but there could be another sheet or another sheet, or if you need to, you add another sheet, right? And these sheets you should definitely label. Okay. So we can right click here and we're going to rename that guy as, um, uh, let's say this is, uh, uh, you know, American cities, right? Now, with the new version of um, of of uh, Excel uh, 2010, you can actually change the color of your uh, tab here. So let's make it red. Right, so yeah, you can't see it too well, but they added a little bit of color to that uh, uh, to that tab, right? Um, and then you can come in and rename these other tabs. I see now it shows because we're on the second tab, right? So this is kind of like a, a little bit of a red uh, there. So in any case, so you have that, that new feature there. Um, now we're going to come into page layout. All right, so this is where we're going to come in and we're going to change the margins. And here I'm going to make it narrow, right? And if you notice, it's actually created like a little dotted line here. Okay, that dotted line tells me where it's going to cut me off. Okay, and so what I want to do here is I want to change the orientation to landscape. Okay, so now I've uh, now I can stretch all the way over to the M here, and it's going to be fine. Right, so if I if I want to make D a little longer, make E a little longer. And F a little longer, and now I can fit my whole spreadsheet here. Okay. Um, now, print area is a nice feature under page layout. So here you could say, okay, I only want to print what's showing here or what I've highlighted. Um, and so if I can come in and print and set the print area, right? And uh, that's also another nice thing um, that you can do. And let's see. In here to um, let's see. Let's go back to insert. Okay. Um, all right. Let's come back to home. Okay. So in home, we do have uh, other features in here. We've got the find and select uh, feature. We've got uh, we've got some fill down options. These are some nice little features. So let's say you have uh, one, two. Oops, two, right? So you can actually use this option to fill down a numerical series so you don't have to fill that stuff in manually. Notice how I did that. See how I did that? So I just filled in the first one, I filled in the second one, and then I highlighted the rest of the fields there. You can do that for dates. You can do that for almost anything. Um, and as long as it follows a certain type of pattern, it, it will try to 
think out what your pattern is and replicate that. So this way you don't have to necessarily type in every, you know, if you're talking about hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of rows, um, you can automatically fill these numbers in. So that's a great feature um, that, that you have in there. Okay. Um, so let's see. We're going to come back into, uh, we, we did a little bit with formulas. Uh, we did page layout. This is really pretty much it. I mean, as far as, you know, learning Excel in 20 minutes, there's a whole lot more uh, that, that I'd love to go over with you. But uh, that's really all I can do in, in one uh one session. So I'm just really going to talk about a couple more little basics and then then cut you loose. So so here we've we've highlighted we've already done our page layout. So again, you've you've got your right click, you got your format cells um, where you can do pretty much almost anything that you want to do in terms of formatting the way it's going to look. You've got uh, alignments, wrapping text, uh, you got your number, how it's going to look in terms of if it's a number, a currency, or if it's a text type item, right? You come into the font, change your font. You can change the border, the way the border is going to look. Here I'm going to make the outline thicker, right? So I've done that, okay? And I can come into the fill and change the fill. You know, so there's multiple areas in here. So now if you notice, I've actually made it the uh, the border even thicker, right? So there's a lot of features that you can get there. And the way you do it is just by highlighting, right-clicking, and choosing format cells. That works in every single version of Excel. Uh, you know, although there's some features that are only you know available now in uh, the newer versions, but uh, but that's a great feature. So uh, formatting. Your document is something that uh, you're definitely going to want to do, um, and right-click format cells is how you do it. So uh, the other place again is page layout uh, under margins, orientation, and your print areas. Um, so those are the areas that you're going to uh, want to set up, uh, you know, prior to printing your document out. So if you come under under file, this is where you have you know all the typical things like print, save, and send save as, save, right, and even creating a new document, right? So that's that's it for today. Um, I'd like to give you a, a, a further lesson in Excel, in 2020, uh, 2010 Excel, uh, but, uh, you know, that's all I can do for this lesson. So uh, come back, and uh, I hope to have a, a more <coughs> further uh, lesson where we can go into a lot more further detail on Excel.